Hey Techheads, just a quick update before you watch the rest of this video. Just to let you know, I ended up actually returning this laptop and swapping it out for the same model but a slightly higher spec. Uh, when I say higher spec, uh, basically it came with 16 gigs of RAM as opposed to the 8 of this one here. And also, uh, as a result of that, it also came with a 4K screen. Um, in honesty, I don't use the 4K screen at the moment, though it's kind of a nice to have for a bit of future proofing. Uh, when I looked into it further, upgrading the memory on this particular model um, can be a bit of a hassle in as much that um, once you take the back off you've got to actually remove the entire system board um, and I don't want to risk voiding the warranty at all so I ended up um, returning this one getting exactly the same model slightly high spec and the reason for doing that as well um, a few days after a special deal came through uh, I think it was about another 150 pounds extra so I decided to go for it um, you know I've had the laptop for two weeks now three weeks more than happy with it, absolutely everything else still stands, but just to let you know, for full transparency, I did end up uh, getting the model with 16 gigs and the 4K screen in the end. But uh, I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Hi and welcome to this uh, video, it's the unboxing of my new laptop. Um, it's not a video I do that often because I don't buy laptops that often. Normally uh, when I buy a personal laptop, uh, I buy it to last me three to four years uh, if possible. Now those of you that follow me on Facebook or Twitter would see that I had a slight accident with my um, my existing laptop. It has given me a good service and this one actually has lasted about five years. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just show it to you there. Um, this is the MacBook Pro I had. This is a 2010 model um, and as you can see there the airbags have um have, uh, have ejected uh, on it. So it's actually the battery, um, not quite as severe as it looked. It actually took about two weeks for it to do that, but the battery cells in there, for whatever reason, um, have expanded, blowing the casing off uh, off the back and also the, uh, the plastic battery casing itself. Uh, as well as that, I don't know whether you can see, um, here, oh, there's a bit that's just come out. Uh -huh. It's actually blowing the trackpad up there as well. So I thought that was a good sign that uh, perhaps I needed a new laptop. Now this laptop, like I say, has given me very good service. Um, it's uh, lasted me, well, like I say, about five years. Use it all day, every day, uh, for work, leisure, uh, and what have you. So um, yeah, no, it's been a great little laptop, but time to move on, swap things out. So uh, in my job, I do um, everything from uh, technical, technical related uh, uh, IT stuff right through to the more creative side of things uh, in my role as a technical uh, marketing manager. So, uh, you know, I create demos and um, collateral and videos and all that type of good stuff, uh, which the Mac has been brilliant for, but I find more of the software I'm using is more Windows based. So uh, my main machine here now is Windows. Um, I do have a Mac as well, which I continue to do my video editing on because, you, you know, in my opinion, you can't beat the Mac for some video editing. Um, and um, so yeah, I decided to go with a Windows, Windows based machine. So looked around, the other thing is I have more spare time in the evenings now. Um, my week weekends and uh, evenings have been taken up in the last few years uh, by starting a new family, but I'm finding uh, with the little one as he gets older now, he's sleeping through the night a little bit better. So I can sneak in sort of 20, 20 to 30 minutes of gaming every now and then. So that's why I went out. I want something uh, for work, pleasure, and also, well, gaming as well, which comes under the category of pleasure, I guess. Um, so, uh, games I've been playing, um, first person shooters such as uh, Battlefield 4, pretty good stuff. Um, League of Legends, Legends, absolutely love that. If you haven't tried those games before, I highly recommend it, check them out. Uh, but to do that, particularly Battlefield, I need something uh, with some great sort of graphical resource under the hood to do that with my laptop. Uh, um, League of Legends, less so, um, but I wanted a laptop, as I say, to last me three to four years if possible, um, everything going well, and uh, that's why I decided on this particular laptop here. I went with a MSI um, a GS60 gaming laptop. Um, so like you see, it comes in a lovely box, um, and uh, you know, in years gone past, I don't know what, what you think, but uh, it was always Mac. Mac sort of led the way, or Apple rather, led the way with uh, presenting their, their um, uh, their products in a very nice way. Not only do the products look great themselves, but how they packaged it. It was a whole experience. You went to the Apple store, it was beautifully packaged, as well as the product, you know, so when you're opening it, you're, you're having an experience. So um, a lot of other companies have obviously cottoned on to that um, as time has progressed, and this is no exception with MSI. This is a beautiful box here, uh, foam, foam uh, lines lid, and uh, inside there, 
Uh, here is the laptop. Um, I did sneak a peek uh, of it uh, at the earlier today. It turned up at earlier today, but I waited till after work to record this. Um, and uh, it's got this little case here, which is very nice, a uh, bit of protective covering. And this is it. This is the 15-inch. Uh, MSI uh, GS60. So for me, uh, it's a nice uh, compromise between a work machine and also a uh, gaming or leisure machine as well. Um, nice and thin, as you see. Uh, one thing I will show you is the um, uh, uh, comparison of size between the 15-inch MacBook Pro that I had previously and, and uh, the GS60 here. So I don't know whether you can see here, this is all very unscientific. Uh, I'm holding them up. The MSI is, is bigger. Um, but the interesting thing is, holding them both, the 15-inch MacBook Pro, albeit it is a 2010 model, is significantly heavier. Um, well, I wouldn't say significantly, it's noticeably heavier. Um, so, uh, interesting there, and uh, I'll show you that as well. So, thickness, um, com very comparable, pretty much the same. Um, so, it's the form factor I'm looking for. Um, now, I could have gone with a 17-inch, obviously a larger screen, more larger, you know, better screen real estate and what have you, uh, which is great for creative work. Now, the only thing is, once again, I'm looking for that sweet spot between portability, so if I need to travel with work, take this with me. I don't want to be towing a uh, small suitcase or a trailer behind me for the 17-inch laptop and its power supply. Um, although I like the idea of 17-inch, it's just not portable. 15 is that sweet spot. 13-inch for what I do, a little bit too small. So uh, that's why I went with a 15 again. Um, so brush, brushed aluminium um, uh, uh, casing on it. Uh, feels very nice. Doesn't feel cheap in any way. Um, the underside, I'm pretty sure, is plastic, but the top bit here is brushed aluminium or aluminium if you're uh, from the States. So, uh, this isn't a technical um, uh, uh, review of the GS60 at all. I'd recommend there's, there's, there's a ton, everyone, uh, a ton of reviews out there already. Uh, a lot of people have uh, done some great reviews out there, and I recommend um, jump, you know, jumping on YouTube or, or Googling on that, and you will find some sort of more deep dive technical. Um, reviews on the GS60. So this is just my thoughts about you know what I was looking for in a laptop, why I went with this particular model, and first impressions. Um, so you know if any of you are interested, um, you know um, drop me a line in a few weeks' time, and I'll tell you what I think uh, a couple of weeks in. So uh, so let's open that up. So what do we got here? So here we go. We've got the uh, the keyboard cover, like so. Like I say, it's got a really nice. Um, Nice finish to it. Uh, smells nice as well, actually. Just like a new car smell, but for laptops. Um, so, <laughs> particularly nice. Um, so, here we go. So, 15 inch screen. Uh, the resolution I went with here is 1080p, so it's 1920 by 1080. Um, they do do a 4K model. Now, I thought about it, it's a little bit more expensive, but you know what? I, I thought it, it's not worth it. I mean, a 15 inch screen, 4K resolution. The fonts are going to be so small, you know, Windows 8.1 or, you know, or 8 particular, uh, particularly and Windows 7, this is running Windows 8.1, um, does do font upscaling and icon upscaling, but it's not perfect. Windows 10 is supposed to be a lot better, but even still, um, I decided to, to save the money um, in, in this instance here. And for what, I, for what I do, 1080p resolution will be fine. Um, it does come with 8 gigs of memory. I will be upgrading the memory to 16, uh, but I will need to um, replace both the DIMMs in there. There's two DIMMs sockets both populated at the moment with two fours um, that will cost me I think about another hundred pounds or so to do that but uh, as budget allows I will upgrade this to six, the uh, maximum 16 gigs um, another thing that attracted me to this model was the keyboard I mean the finish is very nice it's got a steel series keyboard on there and um, those of you who aren't familiar with Steel Series, they do uh, a line of uh, keyboards um, under their own name uh, and, my, and uh, mice as well, and particularly good quality. Um, the reviews I read, uh, everyone sort of uh, raved about the, uh, or rather were very positive about the keyboard, because it can be very hit and miss with a gaming laptop or just a general laptop quite often. Um, the laptops and the trackpads are generally where they tend to cut corners, but the uh, Steel Series keyboard here, very nice. It's got nice feedback. Like I said, I did. Uh, you know, uh, sneak a peek earlier and uh, have a type with it, and it's very nice. You know, good tactile feedback on there, um, and the trackpad not too bad. You know, not perfect, but most laptops aren't. And uh, if I'm doing my graphical work and also gaming, I'm going to be using an external mouse anyway. But it's not bad actually. It's very responsive uh, compared to other laptops um, I've used before. 
wouldn't say it's as good as the uh, the Apple trackpad at all, uh, but uh, Apple sort of ruled the roost in my opinion when it comes to trackpads on laptops. Uh, but you know, not bad, not bad, very responsive. Um, so looking at it, um, the bezel isn't too uh, in your face. Um, I don't particularly like a bit of a bezel snob. I hate laptops with really thick bezels. Um, I, what, this is one area that did worry me from the photos that I saw. I thought it was going to be a little bit too, uh, a little bit too thick. But um, actually, looking at it, the uh, the ratio or the proportions for it, it is absolutely fine. Um, you know, it is getting to the point now where the bezels are getting thinner and thinner, and uh, yeah, I definitely welcome that. And uh, I think it just looks a lot nicer when it goes almost to the, uh, the full edge. But this is fine. This is nice. Um, screen's nice and crisp, um, good colours uh, and what have you. Like I say, jump online, have a look at YouTube. There's, there's folks out there have done really technical uh, deep dives into sort of the, the clarity of the screen, the contrast, etc., etc. That's not the purpose of uh, of this particular um, uh, review here or uh, first impressions, as it were. Um, at the top here, um, it's so the Sound by Dynasty Studio, so it's got a GeForce, um, uh, sorry, Sound Blaster card in there as well. Um, I haven't given that a go yet, but apparently from the reviews I've read again, apparently the sound is, is pretty good. Uh, not too punchy or bassy, but at the end of the day, it's a laptop, and uh, you know, if you're gaming, you'll wear uh, you know headphones anyway. Um, a lot of sort of like perforated holes at the top here. Uh, you'd think that's for the, um, the the audio, but it's actually the air intake. So it uh, draws the air in from the top. There's a couple of vents on the bottom as well, and then uh, blows the air from what I gather um, out the back here, and there's a couple of uh, vents, one on either side, like so. So uh, that's that. Um, another big thing with this, which is uh, perhaps a little bit crazy, is the um, uh, it's cosmetics. It's, it's a lovely backlit keyboard on this. It's got three zones. Once again, check out those uh, YouTube videos out there where they go into more detail. But it's got three zones, and you can um, set up the colours for each. Um, so uh, pretty pretty funky looking, especially when you've got the lights off there. Um, so better than your typical sort of um, uh, you know uh, white backlit keyboards. A little bit more interesting. It's a gaming laptop after all, so. It's a bit of fun. Um, so it's got an Intel Core 7, uh, sorry, Intel Core i7 in there. So quad core CPU, hyper threaded. Uh, this has got, um, I think it's the 4720HQ. I went with the HQ model um, uh, CPU when I was looking around because that's got a, a few of the extra virtualization instruction sets on there. Um, I do a lot of uh, uh, virtualization work as well, although these days I, I'm not looking at running virtual labs on my laptop. It's nice to have the option there if I ever need to, so uh, that's why I went with that. So enough, enough CPU horsepower under the hood. Um, GPU-wise, it's got uh, the latest series of NVIDIA uh, uh, GTX uh, CPUs in there. It, this one has the 970M, um, so that is the mobile uh, version of the 9, 9, uh, 900 series. Um, uh, GPU. Um, from the reviews I've read, the, the 970M is sort of pretty much give or take equivalent to the desktop version of the 960. So as you can see, um, you know, in recent years, um, it, it used to be a case of the laptop gaming laptops were the, definitely the poor cousin to the desktops. But uh, the, the way it's worked, whether the um, GPU manufacturers have, uh, have uh, perhaps put the handbrake on the uh, on the desktop CPUs a little bit, but I think a lot of it has come to the fact that the mobility um, uh, or rather the mobile GPUs have actually come a long way, so they're almost, not quite, and they never will be, I'm guessing, comparable to more of the desktop CPUs. That's why you can get some very, very, uh, very hardcore gaming laptops these days, and, uh, you know, desktop replacements. So um, it's got three gigs of DDR5, uh, I believe, in there, so uh, enough for, uh, you know, the 1080p gaming uh, full spec. I should be able to do uh, things like Battlefield at either higher or ultra settings, which would be great. Um, obviously, if this is the 4K version, the 4K version comes with the same uh, GPU and the same memory in there, so you're not going to be gaming at 4K with you know 3 gigs of DDR generally. There will be exceptions to that, but most games will be hard pushed at that resolution. So for your gaming, you would drop it probably back to 1080 anyway, especially for the uh, frames per second that you'd be after. Uh, Storage-wise, it's got two storage devices in here. Um, the first one is the um, an SSD. It's 128 gigs. Would have liked to have seen a little bit more, to be honest with you. It's in an M2 socket in there, and I think there is a spare one in there as well, so you can um, take the back off at some point. And apparently MSI, according to folks on the forums that have contacted MSI, do allow that. There is a, a sticker on the underside, a, a tamper sticker, but 
Um, what MSI say, you can take it, uh, the back off, as long as you don't do anything stupid or break anything. So, you know, to ex expand the, the memory, which I will be doing in due course, or expanding the, uh, the storage on there is allowed. Uh, obviously, anything else, you know, well, your mileage may vary. I'd contact MSI at that point. Um, so yeah, um, that's the first storage device uh, that hosts the, uh, the the operating system, as you'd expect. Uh, the second one is a one terabyte, seventy two hundred RPM, two and a half inch um, spinning disk in there as well. So that's going to be great for your files, your photos, all that type of stuff. Um, your SSD is primarily just going to be for your operating system and your handful of applications um, that need that performance. Uh, the, your other apps over time, you'd probably just install on the one terabyte drive. Like I say, there is a really good expansion path for the storage on there, so you could swap out perhaps the um, the one terabyte drive in here and put a, uh, a hybrid two and a half inch SSD or maybe you know but just put a um, uh, sorry hybrid uh, spinning disk in there um, or you may uh, put an SSD in there two and a half inch SSD in time so uh, good expandability which also attracted me to it uh, webcam um, haven't tried that out yet apparently it's not too bad um, and let's look at ports to wrap things up got Kensington lock on the side they've got the vent as I pointed out earlier power supply now um, some gaming laptops the Aorus ones I've got a nice design in my opinion they're screens uh, hinges uh, a little bit debatable in my opinion uh, I tried one out and uh, it felt a bit flimsy but they have got a really Really great setup on the back uh, where it, the uh, the LAN port is on the back uh, gigabit ethernet as with this one and also the power supply so it gets those cables out of your way now with this one here your, uh, your the cable from your power brick goes into the side here as with on the other side it's got your gigabit ethernet port two um, USB 3 ports uh, microphone headphones usual stuff um, and also obviously it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that sort of good stuff as well. Another USB 3 port on the other side, SD card reader, very good, um, HDMI and mini port uh, adapter as well. And apparently from this you can actually port out to an external monitor uh, with, at 4K resolution, which is uh, particularly good. Um, Gigabit Ethernet port, uh, I think that has got some more optimization for, for uh, gaming on there. That would be sort of like a QoS type thing, I'd imagine, um, for, for gaming packets. And you've got the vent there and what have you. So in all, um, first impressions, very good. Um, one last thing I'll show you here is the, uh, the power brick. Um, obviously to power a... Uh, a, a um, a laptop of this specification or any gaming laptop it's going to take a bit of power for the CPU and the GPU um, not the world's smallest power brick but anything any gaming laptop around this sort of uh, specification is going to have a pretty hefty brick with it not too heavy actually not 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 too fat as well sort of uh, so but definitely acceptable there um, so you know you combine that with the laptop you can definitely get that in a uh, in a backpack without giving yourself a hernia um, and that's what attracted me to this um, yeah one last thing just thought about is cooling cooling as well um, as a lot of the uh, gaming laptop manufacturers are doing these days rather than just having the single fan in there which cools not only the CPU and the GPU um, uh, they have dedicated fans for each, so dedicated fan for GPU, dedicated fan for CPU, um, and as such, the, uh, that means you haven't got one fan in there working overtime to cool everything, so it uh, distributes the load a little bit, means that you can keep the audio levels down a bit. So that's going to be interesting with this, when I put this laptop under a little bit of load, i.e. gaming, especially Battlefield and the likes, to see how noisy it gets with the fans. Once again, I've done my homework with it, yes, you do hear the fans, but... Um, yeah, most laptops are the same, gaming laptops are the same at that point, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see how loud it does get, but uh, at that point I guess that's where you get yourself a pair of gaming headphones, so you can't hear it, you just crank the volume up, that's the other way. So that's my review, um, it's a very casual review, like I say. Um, yeah, first impressions, very good. Um, if you want a, a, an update, um, leave me a comment below. And um, yeah, I'll get back to you with what I thought, uh, things like um, usability, um, particularly the sound, noise, audio levels, fans, etc. like that. So if you're interested, leave me a comment. Uh, and if you like this video, um, please give me a thumbs up. But thanks for watching and uh, thanks very much.